Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Essin, bringing you an awesome video on how to link your cash card to your PayPal account. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload you like this. And if at the end of this video, if this video helps you, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment down below your experience, comment down below what you want me to upload next. Without that, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to link your cash card to your PayPal account. Guys, a disclaimer, please. I'm not here to show you guys on how to create a PayPal account or how to create a Cash App account, but how to link your Cash Card to your PayPal account. Yes, it is possible. All right. So if you haven't created a Cash App account yet, there'll be a link up here or down here. Click on the link. Go watch the the video I did on how to create a Cash App account. All right. So when that is done, guys, a disclaimer. The second disclaimer that I'm, I'm about to give you guys right now is that. If you are about to link your cash card to your PayPal account, the PayPal account must be a USA PayPal account, okay? Because cash card, cash app is meant for those in the US. So receiving a, a cash card will be in a US address. So if you're not in the US, I'm sorry, this method may or may not work for you. I haven't found out the method yet for those out of the state, all right? So this method, is for those in the states but if you have a cash app account that has a cash a cash card okay this method can work for you too but you, you have to understand that you have to use the the information used on the cash app account the the same information using the cash app account with the paypal account so guys without that let's go so uh, i'll be showing you guys with screenshot that i took on my iphone okay so the first thing you want to do is to go to your cash app account for those who have a cash app account without cash card okay the first one is to go to your cash app account at the bottom left corner right the second to the last okay you see something like a card with a little dot so click on that and it will take you to this page cash card all right so click on get free cash card so we can get free cash card guys like you can see some emojis are there those emojis are hiding the cash stack of this account okay because this account is not my account all right so you say choose your cash card okay so guys the the black and the white cash stack are for free all right so the yellow yellow green whatever lemon green so the two down glow in the dark yeah glow in the dark and cash up x hbe i mean the, the glow in the dark is five dollars if you want to order it you have to send five dollars to cash cash up and the one down the limited edition is for 35 dollars okay so what you want to do is to click on the free one right either the black or white so choose either the black or white so when you click either on the black or on the white it will take you to this page you see okay if, if, if you choose the black like i did i choose the black card so black classic and iconic the original make it yours with a custom drain or stamp so I'm not going to click on other card, but if you want to personalize your card, that's on you. You do it. But I'm going to click on other card. And we click on other card. They say, where should we send your cash card? Okay. So enter an address where you want it to send your cash card. All right. So when you enter your address, what you want to do is to confirm your first and your last name. When that is being done, when you confirm your first and your last name, they are going to say that you know, your cash card just... Cash, cash app is going to email you saying your cash card just left their industry all right so guys when that is being done now the mega piece paypal account okay so what you want to do is to go to your browser either on your desktop or your mobile device any of them as you can see this screenshot was taken from my iphone all right so what you want to do is to go to paypal.com slash usa the link will be in the description or i'll put the link here so that you can see it and just copy and paste it okay so when you click on paypal.com slash usa it's going to bring you to this page okay so now what you want to do is to select either a personal account or a business account all right so i'm going in for a personal account remember use the same information on your cash app account in your paypal account or else this method won't work okay so what you want to do is to so choose the account that you want as for me i'm choosing a personal account we choose the personal account click on next all right so now when you click on next they'll ask for your mobile number all right so this is a new method because at first they were, they were asking that for your email address but now they ask for your phone number so input the phone number click on next click on next to ask to set your profile right 
So actually to, to input your email address, first name, last name, date of birth, create a password, all right? Then they'll ask you to like, you want to stay logged in for faster checkout or whatever. So it's on you, you have to check that box or not. But I checked it, okay? So when, you, so, so when you're done filling in the information, the same information you you have on your cash app account, like the first name on your cash app account must be the first name in your PayPal account. The first name in your cash, the last name must be the same. The date of birth in your cash app account will be the same date, date of birth in your PayPal account. The that's all. Just the first name, last name, date of birth. That those are your personal information. Just the same you use on your cash app account. Use the same on in your PayPal account. Okay. The email address you, you can use different email addresses. Okay. That doesn't bother it. And the password you can, you can use as your cash app doesn't have password it has your signing code okay so at your address now guys this is the key point okay so now the same address you use to order your card that same address will be the same address you have to use to add your address in your paypal account okay so fill in the address you you gave in your paypal account in your cash app account okay so when you fill in the the, the address, they the, the actually to set up a way to send or receive money and shop online. Yeah, that's the key. So now, before, okay, so guys, I, I forgot to say this. I forgot to say this. So before Cash App sends your cash card, all right, you can start using your cash card in your pay, in your Cash App account without the actual physical card, all right? Like you can shop online with the card without using your actual physical cash card so what you want to do is to click on your card they will show you activate card just they'll, they'll show you enable card just check that enable card and that's all your account your cash card number will be there your cash card in um, expiring date will be there and the cvv will be there cvv yeah cvv will be there also why is vcc will be there also yeah the vcc will be there also so just input all that the debit card or credit card number input Okay, so the card number, the card type, all right. So when we start to to like input your cash card um, number here, automatically it will select Visa because a cash card is a Visa card, all right. So it will select Visa card automatically for you. Then, man, the expiring date of your cash card will, will be in your cash card in your PayPal account, all right. So input the expiring date, the security code, yeah, the security code I'm, that I was saying about is a three-digit code input there you see the billing address as you can see the billing address must match the billing address in your cash app account right so when you match it guys just click on link account and that's all guys and that is all so if they say unable to link this account it means that the billing address is not the same billing address in your cash card on your cash card or in your cash app account all right and you can link one card to many people account Okay, and, and we all know how PayPal disturbs a lot. Like they can hold your money for about 21 days first, then 180 days. And we all know how, how PayPal works. PayPal is very complicated. So guys, try not to make it complicated for them to block your account. And let me tell you guys something, okay? It is safe to withdraw money from your PayPal account to your cash app account. If there's no dispute in your PayPal account, like your PayPal account must be clean, all right? Because if it's not clean, they're going to flag your PayPal account and your cash app account. So those are the consequences of linking your cash card to your PayPal account. But you can send money from your PayPal account to your cash to your cash app account with a space of less than a minute. All right, like less than a minute, you can send money from your PayPal account to your cash app account. But let your cash app account be good. Let it be good. Like the status should be good. All right. For example, for example, if you're doing business, someone sends you money to your PayPal account, all right, and the person doesn't receive all the good that you sent to him or her, to your customer, wasn't good enough. If the person files a complaint to your PayPal account, if, you're, if you try sending that money from your PayPal account to your Cash App account, Cash App is going to file a dispute with your Cash App account, and Cash App is going to ban your account. Like Cash App is going to close your account and send the money back to the PayPal account, of which PayPal will then send the money back to the customer, to your customer. All right. So guys, without that, we have come to end of this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a video like this. This video is an update to the previous video that I 
I did. Okay, so the previous video audio quality is not good enough. So I then I also got a question from one of my subscribers who comment on my recent video how to link the cash card to your PayPal account. So that's why I said okay. So since I I've got good audio quality now, good audio quality device now, which is good and I know that is good by the grace of God is good. So that's why I say okay. Let me just upload this video. All right. So guys, please if this video helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your experience. Comment down below your questions. I'm here to answer, to give you answers. Okay. So peace out in the tutorial.